Well, hopefully I won't need to explain too much, but all, all we're seeing here is the edge of where the paddock has been sprayed with compost tea and the area here behind us, which is the track uh, where it hasn't been sprayed and how it's dominated with onion grass. So I don't think it, um, it takes a road scholar to understand that compost tea does increase production and, um, and does encourage uh, the, the better species to grow. Mm -hmm. Uh, onion grass is a real problem around our area and it's very unproductive and it can be controlled chemically but um, we find that controlling it through herbicides also removes your clover from your paddock so um, we're looking for a, another way to to move forward with it. Mm. Yeah. Well if you can have the biology you can set up the biology in the soil, which you're obviously doing, so that the onion grass doesn't want to grow and you're not using any poisons. Well, you must be well ahead in terms of uh, growth growing instead of poisoning. While you're poisoning something, you're going backwards in uh, productivity for that period. Yep. And then, of course, you get a burst, then you usually have to re sow the paddock. Um, and yep. now, here, what you're doing without re sowing, you're getting the onion grass being. Um, put into a much lower position of dominance. Yeah, it certainly looks that way.